One, you're not an introvert. Introverts exist. I just don't believe you when you say you're one of them. Two, you're not a misanthrope. What you are is hurt. You tried loving people and it didn't work out and you gave up. You're not a misanthrope. You're a quitter. Three, bisexuals. Choose ADHD. You've just chemically altered your mind to adapt to a sick system that wants you to look at a screen 16 hours a day. The reason you don't want to do that, by the way, is because you shouldn't. Maybe if you had a community around you that you were providing value to with your work and you saw the intrinsic value of what you were doing, then you would be motivated to do it. But you don't have that because you're a sigma male. Five, you're not a sigma. Many promising alphas have been reduced to being lowly sigmas due to atomization. Sad. Six, you're not a player character. The reason you think everyone is an NPC is because you don't talk to normal people. Seven, you're not a political extremist. You just think things and say words. And that's fine. You know, you're allowed to have fun saying words. I'm having fun saying words right now. But you're not doing anything. You're just engaging in a middle class form of what's, what's called identity play. And uh, it's also called LARPing. And it's very fun. And I recommend LARPing. It's, uh, it's a good thing to do. But uh, you're not really doing a politics. You're just like engaging in personal branding on Twitter. You just have autism. Eight. You don't have autism. Getting rid of the Asperger's autism divide has been a catastrophe for the human race. That shit's spreading like a mind virus to anyone credulous enough to believe that all of their behavior can be described via a single word. A word that is, by the way, a diagnosis. The ultimate relinquishment of divine power to the pharmaceutical industry. Not to mention that half these people who have autism are actually are on the other end of the autism spectrum and are like schizotypal or something. Nine, you don't have schizophrenia. Your brain fires dopamine when you say the word PSYOP. And that's okay. You're allowed to be a populist right winger on the internet. That's fine. You're just it, it, not schizophrenic. You've bought into a successful idea. To adopt the identity of being a schizophrenic, by the way, is probably the least schizophrenic thing you can do. You know, consistently have the identity in your Twitter bio being a schizo. It's like the most non-schizophrenic shit possible. That's the worst part, isn't it, though? That you're not schizo. That you're just entirely sane and mundane and uninteresting. Ten. You're not sane. There's a lot of these videos going around talking about this idea of mass psychosis. Now, you'll note that every single one of these videos has the underlying premise that the person telling you who is psychotic is not psychotic. The person in the middle pointing in both directions and saying everyone but me is psychotic is probably the most psychotic because they're the least self-aware about it. Eleven, you're not a psychopath. You just don't know anybody that you like. You're not in your villain arc. You just realized being selfish has become easier than caring about others. 12, a car from the movie Cars. Guys, I know that this one is probably the one that hits you hardest, but no matter how much you want it, no matter how much you care about it, you will never be a car from the movie. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just you. No, no, that, that, that's a generational, everyone, everyone thinks that, right? No, you're definitely just projecting again. Next slide. Who you are. Your ego is a story that you tell yourself. It's a very useful story, sure, and it's propped up by all of these labels. But guess what all of these labels and copes have in common? They are all a symptom of having no community. Behind all these labels, we are all more or less the same underneath. I cannot think of anybody in my generation or younger that has not been affected by atomization in some way. Whether they are conscious of it or not, loneliness plays one of the biggest roles in defining and describing people who are alive right now. I have seen people with nothing, no mentors, no meaningful relationships, no community, tear each other apart over a perceived difference in label. I have seen people with far more in common with each other destroy each other because of that perceived difference in label. People with nothing, People who get burned by community so badly that they retreat back into their room and say, well, I tried that out, never gonna do that again. It is a tragedy. And when you grow up and live without community, when you don't have it, you don't even realize what you're lacking. And that's why we all need to get along and come together as centrists and not believe anything controversial. Hi guys, my name is Jay Regular and I hope you enjoyed this video. You're not an introvert or a sigma male No, no You're not a misanthrope You just fail To find anyone in your life 
that you felt like you could lie. Don't tell yourself lies you believe. Everyone besides you's not an NPC. This is your story. You just don't think about the people on the street. This is your story. They pass you by with their own lives as your own life passes you by. Don't confuse your friend with your identity You're not an introvert or a sigma man No, no, you're not a missing book You just fit